when you talk about the treatment part when it comes to ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease the treatment is lifelong this is one two apart from the dietary factors which we discussed that we usually ask patients to avoid milk because most of the patients have lactose intolerance so we tell them don't to take uh, don't take milk because that will confuse the doctor because of milk water intolerance there is an increased frequency of stool the disease is recurring or the disease is recurring so the other factor which we other thing which we take tell in diet is avoid chili spicy food because that increases the intestinal motility and again can cause uh, reappearance of symptoms as far as the medications are concerned we give anti-inflammatory medications like 5 amino salicylic acid the most common we use is mezacol pentasa acacol these are all similar products which work on the large and small intestine specifically and helps in maintaining the remission but as far as remission induction is concerned we use steroids we use immunomodulators like azathioprine methotrexate and sometimes we may have to use uh, biologicals like infliximab and all when it comes to crohn's disease the treatment modality which we treat actually is that we usually give hit hard and then taper the doses is what our regimen nowadays Previously, we used to give amino salicylate, steroid and immunomodulators for Crohn's disease patient and then we used to start biologicals but with the, with the recent literature and with the recent advances we realized that when the patient has small bowel disease in Indian population, when the patient has fistulous disease, when the patient has refractory response to the previous treatment then at that time we start the biologicals which is infliximab or adalizumab or other biological um, medications which we give every two weekly and then they have to take it for two years or lifelong whichever is earlier possible based on the patient's follow. So the patients do come to us with the uh, agony and pain and uh, kind of depressive thoughts because this inflammatory bowel disease is actually a crippling disease when it comes to the uh, symptoms and the suffering of a patient but nevertheless now with the advent of science the there are treatments which are available which works at the molecular level and the patients are definitely getting benefited as the time goes on is there any role for surgery in this kind of patient yes there is a role for patient there is role of surgery in few patients select patients for ulcerative and Crohn's disease if the ulcerative colitis patient is not responding to any of the above treatment or they come with the complications like fulminant colitis not responding to the immunomodulators or the biologicals in those subgroup of patients we can do total practicolectomy along with ileoanal pouch anastomosis but those patients who have Crohn's disease we treat based on their complications if they come if they have a stricture disease and they come with the obstruction then we do a selective segmental resection and anastomosis if they have a disease which is uh, aggressive and leading to other complication we can do the colectomy and all so it all depends if the patient present with fistula and anano then we do fistulectomy with set on placement so it all depends what kind of disease patient has and the presentation we decide the mode of treatment nevertheless this disease is to be fought back by means of the changes in the diet, decreasing the stress, taking regular medications and follow up with the doctor and most importantly there are few patients, select patients who actually can get benefited by alternative uh, relaxing techniques which are yoga or mm, having diet which is less fermented and Avoidance of self-prescription is also an important fact to be remembered in patients with inflammatory bowel disease.